Hi everyone and welcome to our NHVR Solutions webinar for release 9.6.0. Today is the 16th of June. Quickly run through our agenda. So we'll do a little bit of a welcome and some housekeeping. We'll run through our new features in release 9.6.0, provide you with the details for the next webinar and then provide contact details. Online today, you have John Barry, our Product Manager, Nathan Smith, Product Analyst, Stephen Ryan, Product Analyst, and myself, Carly Furlong, Senior Digital Engagement. The format for today will be will show slides and new feature demonstrations, and then at the end, we'll provide contact details in case you need to ask us any questions. We'll now move straight into showing the new features in this month's release. First up, we have vehicle standards, so I'll hand over to Stephen Ryan. Great, thanks Carly. So the feature that we've got in here for vehicle standards this month is about getting a notification sent out when an exemption permit gets transferred. So in the last couple of um, releases, we've had a feature built that the vehicle standards team can transfer an exemption permit from one permit holder to another permit holder. So we have that regularly requested by our customers. So what we've built now is a notification that goes out so that um, the person that's receiving the transferred permit will know that they've had, they've had it transferred to them. So I'll just share my screen and show what that looks like. So the notification for those that use the portal, be familiar, it's got the header and um, sort of the title on there. So this is showing that it's a transfer. So this is what the notification will look like that you'll receive. That'll come through in your email. Uh, there'll be a link down the bottom which will bring you into the portal on the timeline. So this is what we can see internally from the regulator. But for the customer, what you'll see once you receive that email, you click the link, it'll bring you into the timeline of the exemption permit that's been transferred to you. The content of the email that you receive is here at the top. The um, important thing to look at is that the information that's here below about the permit that's been issued, there's often important information in here around rights to review and appeal and other um, sort of legislative um, elements of the permit that's been issued to you. Um, so that's why this directs you to here. The permit that you receive will still be sitting in the approval as you would normally see at the PDF. And um, so that's going to be going live today in terms of if you have a exemption permit transferred to you and you're the recipient of that transferred permit, you'll get an email notification. The link in the email will bring you to this page in the timeline of your approval. Thank you. Thanks, Steve. I'll now hand back to Nathan to take us through our access update. Thanks, Carly. So I'll just share my screen. Looking in here for for access for reducing the consent requests on renewals. So re recently when renewing a permit, permit the period from date it will now be automatically set to one day after the current permit end date uh, and then we'll also look to be that the the per period to do to date will be automatically defaulted based on the current permit period so if currently it's set for three months then the period two will be set to the new period from plus three months and i'll just show you that in this example here so as we can see here, we've got a permit end date of the 14th of June 2021, and there's 12 months. And then we can see that when this latest uh, case has gone through, gone out for consent for renewal, we can see that that the period from date is now one day after the 15th of June, sorry, the 14th of June to the 15th of June, and period two for the 12 months is the 14th. June. So this will then help reduce the amount of renewals consents going out to our road managers, meaning that uh, the ones that require require the, to provide consent will be the only ones that get those type of get those consents go out. So that'll save a lot of effort and time for the road managers, plus for our staff as well in our HPR. And that's it. Thanks very much. Thanks, Nathan. So that covers off on our major release components. As always, we are releasing minor enhancements throughout the portal all the time. So if you do see things looking differently, um, hopefully those changes will improve your experience. I'll now pass over to John to talk us through the roadmap for 2021. All right, thanks, Carly. Um, apologies in, in advance if I uh, drop out. So I'm having some internet related issues. So um, generally the, the roadmap as we've been promoting for the last uh, few uh, webinars now is available through the portal. 
um, and under the information hub, you'll be able to um, click on portal roadmap and see um, not just uh, what we're currently working on, but also things under consideration um, and uh, and also what we've just released and in fact our complete release history now since um, since January. Um, I will attempt to share my screen, but again, I'll point anyone who is interested to, to please go visit the site um, and the Information Hub portal roadmap. Um, I'm going to jump in now. Uh, so we do have a contextualised view, which will depend on whether you're um, logged in as a road manager or as a customer. Um, I'm logged in um, with a sort of global view. So um, um, in terms of um, the roadmap, um, particularly over the next three months, we have um, uh, five new priorities, two that are in progress already, but um, two new ones since the last time we, um, we presented last month. Uh, access permits, push-pull truck configurations for partial routes and providing functionality to allow applicants to um, define the different configurations is um, is a priority for us and we will be kicking that work off in July. Um, we also have two new ones um, that really um, um, connect into uh, the NHVR corporate plan. Um, the first one's around compliance and we're going to be looking at doing a proof of concept um, of providing uh, vehicle defect data through the portal. Uh, so using the registration module, using the data collection um, that we have from our national compliance operations as well as from uh, vehicle defects raised at the state and territory level. Um, we're going to try and collect that information similar to the way we've done with uh, vehicle registrations and um, try and provide that to, to operators um, to, to help manage those compliance requirements, give you a bit of a view um, um, holistically if we can. So be a small step at first, but um, we will look at that being a proof of concept that we'll look to extend if we can um, demonstrate the value for, for doing that. Uh, and then lastly, notices and pre-approval consultations really, really focus more on the road manager side of things. Um, uh, the consultation process for notices is currently an email based process. It, it is um, uh, it, it is quite manual and we want to improve that, uh, uh, automate that, facilitate um, a bit of an improved experience on how we manage that notice consultation so that we can get the best outcome and a faster outcome in terms of getting notices, national notices approved. Um, Pre-approvals also, we want to improve the way that pre-approvals are managed um, for road managers at, at all levels. Um, that um, that system, again, is uh, fairly, relatively manual and um, there's, there's opportunities there that we can, we're looking to improve the experience of how you can raise a pre-approval um, more directly um, and, uh, um, um, and manage the pre-approval in terms of the conditions on those pre-approvals as well as the timeframes. And uh, this will link in into uh, a longer term piece of our um, collective roadmap um, here at NHVR, which is with our spatial program and how that will then integrate spatially um, the routes, uh, the maps um, for the gazettes, as well as um, the, the roads that may be um, on a pre-approval. Uh, so that's our priorities for the coming three months. Um, we have in progress a number of things um, that's uh, um, ready to release, a couple that we've discussed today from a vehicle standards perspective um, and also from an access permits perspective. Uh, PBS, um, we, uh, we will be releasing some improvements um, um, aiming for next week, um, which um, we'll um, announce then. Um, and as I said, under the release, um, you can see all of the improvements we've made over the last six months. Um, and um, we're starting to, to get a, quite a lot, of a lot of improvements there, but we're also keen on your ideas. So um, um, we are progressing with your ideas internally. Um, those that have been participating in the, the customer satisfaction surveys that you may have seen popped up, uh, we, any feedback that you're leaving there, we are collecting that and we are starting to formulate some themes around what are the, the, the important things we can do to improve the experience on the portal and also feed into existing programs of work around improving the route planner, which obviously is a key aspect for spatial, um, and for the portal itself, how we can improve access, accreditation and vehicle standards. Um, PBS will continue to be a focus for us um, in, over the next uh, six months. Um, 
we're really going to look at some ways to start improving that process and bring it into that transition into the portal. Um, we'll start releasing a bit more information on the, I guess, the, the, the next plan into the next six months and, and what the key um, uh, the key uh, uh, outputs will be um, we'll look, um, and we'll communicate that with a, um, a PBS assessor and a certifier engagement. Um, we're also keen to pull up um, uh, with some work we've been doing on the developer platform um, around um, uh, providing access consent information to road managers um, and also um, providing registration data um, to um, to operators, uh, things that are in progress um, in our development phase. Um, and um, again, we'll be looking, I think um, in the next month, um, you can look forward to seeing um, those two developer platform APIs being released. Um, and um, we'll start to build um, relationships with those uh, road managers who want to use our APIs and obviously um, with operators with the initial release of um, registration service information. So a um, lot to look forward to. Um, again, um, please continue to provide us uh, feedback when you see the survey pop up um, and um, continue to look onto the digital roadmap to see what's currently being considered and how we're progressing through um, these improvements. Thanks very much. I'll hand back over to Carly. Awesome. Thanks so much, John. So that covers off everything that we have to present for this monthly release. As John mentioned, there's lots in the pipeline that will be released over the next month and things that you can look forward to. So details of our next webinar and contact details. Next webinar will be held on the 21st of July, as always recorded and uploaded online for you to view. In the meantime, if you do need any assistance, we do have our help centre. Um, we also have available our customer contact numbers and our road manager contact numbers, also email addresses listed there on the screen for you too. Thank you very much for joining us for this release.